Tiniyak ni Philippine Ambassador to the United States Jose Manuel Romualdez na maigting ang kanilang ginagawang pakikipag-ugnayan sa U.S. State Department kaugnay ng mga pag-atake at karahasan na inaitatala laban sa mga Asian American. Ayon sa Philippine Diplomat, bukod sa inilabas na alert warning para sa Filipino community sa bansa, sumulat na rin ito sa ilang U.S. Senator upang i-address ang issue. We will continue to do what we can as far as the Philippine Embassy is concerned and always call the attention of our friends in the State Department to, to do something about it. As a matter of fact, we've just written letters to many of the Senators uh, in the U.S. Senate who are involved in the uh, terrorism and, uh, and racial discrimination uh, committees and, and, and others to uh, look into this and to make sure that um, Uh, things like this uh, should be completely removed from uh, American society. Partikular na naitala ang pagtindi ng anti-Asian hate crimes sa mga estado ng California at New York na magsimula ang COVID-19 pandemic noong nakalipas na taon. Ayon kay Ambassador Romualdez, bagaman karamihan ng mga anti-Asian violence ay laban sa mga Chinese Americans, may mga naiulat ding Pilipinong nadamay. Pinakahuli ang pananakit sa isang Pilipino sa New York. Kaya naman agad ito na nawagan sa federal government na bigyang proteksyon ang mga Asian, lalo na ang mga Pilipino sa mga ganitong insidente. Pero recently, merong, uh, uh, hindi ko lang alam kung nabalitaan ninyo that there was a, a Filipino that was, uh, his face was slashed from, from ear to ear in the subway in New York. And that was uh, in the news and uh, Again, uh, medyo uh, sabi nila, uh, hate crime ngayon. No? I took it up with the uh, acting uh, Deputy Assistant Secretary Sung Kim, who was our former ambassador, who was the U.S. ambassador to the Philippines uh, uh, just very recently. And I took it up with him and I, and I mentioned it to him and he said that he was going to uh, definitely look into it and that uh, <clears throat> we will, uh, they will do whatever they can to make sure that uh, Filipinos, uh, the law enforcement uh, people in the respective areas, especially where there, where there's a very high uh, number of Filipino communities, that they would be given the heads up on this. No? Batay sa datos, sa 300 million population ng Amerika, 5.6% dito ay mga Asian Americans, kung saan ang pinakamalaking ethnic group ay mga Chinese na nasa 3.79 million at pumapangalawa ang mga Filipino na may 3.41 million. James Bontuyan, UNTV News and Rescue, USA. Diyos ang aming sandigan, serbisyo publiko ang aming pinahalagahan.